This is R-Type Final 2, the free demo on the PlayStation 4. Uh, yeah, so... Does that mean we're never going to see a physical version of this game if NIS is <laughs> publishing it? We're going to have to go through limited run to get one. I wouldn't be shocked if NIS did a, uh, did a print version of a Brigandine, Legend of Runercia. We'll talk about that later. This is technically a research stream. Have a, I did. I did a R-Type video for the TurboGrafx-16 a couple of months ago. It's still on this channel. It's probably still in your suggestions right now. Once upon a time, humanity was on the brink of destruction. by the invasion of alien organisms from outer space. People pinned their last hope on a small trans-dimensional fighter. Hi, how's it going? Now you are about to go into the start sequence. I didn't turn on the Japanese voice. I thought I turned on the Japanese voice. The start sequence has been completed. Are you ready to take off? Good luck. Ever space looked better than the CGI in this game. <laughs> no Man's Sky looks better than this. <laughs> they do it all in engine too. It's like yeah, the cutscenes here like they don't, they don't even look as good as an like, actual game, like Ever Space does. But I'm not gonna complain about that. It's on a budget. You gotta do everything with pre-rendered cutscenes, I guess. I figured that, thanks. Rod type. Uh, I guess circular sounds good, I don't know. Show difficulty. <laughs> A dynamic difficulty, huh? fashion one. I understand. Uh, voice language settings. Nippon. Uh, let's see. Nipponichi, am I right? Basic controls. You know how to play an R-type game, don't you? Move your craft. There are, uh, you can adjust your speed in this game. Um, I thought... Do I... I th don't know if I, st I don't think I still own R Type Final or R Type Delta. I'll double check. I doubt that I still own those games. Because I did buy them back in the day from a game crazy, I want to say. L1 to speed up, L2 to speed down. I guess that makes sense. Square to fire normally, R2 or square for rapid fire, I guess. We'll see how that goes. Touching terrain will not down your craft. That's cool. Good to know. I've died a couple of times in Grind um, Gradius 2 doing that crap. I'm going to all kinds of items. Impervious life forms known as the force will appear outside the screen when acquired. You know. Uh, yeah, uh, they're invincible. Three types of crystal, each fires a two types of laser. This is low. You can power it up twice. Type of attack and strength depends, difference depending on the missile you have equipped. Equip a bit, you require a protector craft from top and the bottom, of course. A bit will deal damage to enemies it touches. Have a bit of attack strength. Okay. Wave cannon. Hold the uh, attack button to charge your energy. The amount of energy charged is displayed in a wave cannon gauge. We're releasing the square button. We're 
or releasing scroll of fire. Yeah. Uh, fire strong weapon by charging it longer. Strength and attack type different thing on the wave can be equipped. Holding square for longer will give you two charges. Oh, up to two charges. What if it's enhanced? We can say we'll collect even more charges. Hold square to charge energy, another energy charge. Yeah. It's in the center of the screen on the bottom. We've already established that. Force. Laser crystal scroll force for three stages. What is it? Yeah, regular force, which shoots straight ahead. Level 2 force shoots in a V-shape. And the full-powered force shoots in a V-shape and above and below you. Or above and below the force unit. Force towards enemy shots, so it's invincible. Eh, press the X button to detach the force. I use that a lot, actually. I like It helps me control, it helps me to control the screen. So I like being able to send that thing out ahead of me so that I can uh, take out enemies in front of me. Detachable shield, I love it. Right then, attack the difference depending on the force you've equipped. You can attach it to the back of the unit, of course. Crystals for Special weapons. Uh, energy is accumulated by colliding the force of enemies. What? Oh! I didn't know that was a thing. Gun but they. To use the force to defeat your enemies and absorb their attacks. Oh, it is that accumulate energy fast while it increases your score. Okay. It's an interesting mechanic. Let's go to school. You'll trigger the dose break during the dose break with the damage dealt by the force overall score increase rapidly. Ooh. Okay. Press the triangle button while dose break is triggered to fire your special weapon. It's going to see everything on screen and clears enemy shots too. Be sure you let us during boss fights. Yeah. Sure. New craft developments will be able to continue to fight. Each craft is on set development requirements. Uh, this is like an R-type final feature, right? Because like, there are like dozens of ships you can choose from. You can kind of customize them a little bit. Which sounds very interesting. Customizing loadouts in an R-type game. Get the complete missions. Yeah, I did play... I think... I don't know if I still own it. I doubt I still own that. R-type tactics turn-based game that came out in the PlayStation Portable. Um, I don't think I still own that game. I'll double-check. I haven't played a lot of PSP games for y'all. I apologize. Press the square button to reveal the hangar sortie list. Deleting registered craft. I'm not going to worry about that. Customize the exterior and the armaments. Or, uh, customizing the armaments is going to be good. So I, uh, that's, that's where the game gets really interesting. De decals. Decals. <laughs> decals in an R-Type game. <laughs> okay, missile and will Customize your armaments. Type missile. Yeah, customize your armaments, yeah. Mission brief. Lore. Lore in an R Lore in an R type game. Okay, uh, three types of uh, laser. Uh, I don't know, powerful missiles. R type lore. Everyone's favorite part of R type. So let's see how we do. I'm curious how uh, deep this demo goes. There are three types of ships in the demo, apparently, so I like that. It's more than I can say for R-Type, the third lightning <laughs> on the Super NES. I think this is, yeah, I think the, all these ships are from the third lightning. So we'll start with the basic, the arrowhead. Yeah, customize, for instance, missile. And we can use a depth bomb, death from above, or we can use our home, we're going to start with the homing missile. Let's stick with the basics. You can add decals to your ship here. What kind of decals? Right block. Uh, mm. Got the flag. <laughs> um, I don't know, man. Um, well, how about Black Star? Wait. Is that the wrong side? There it is. Is that it? I have to move it over here. 
I'm not a white star. I am a black star. Next. Uh, hmm. Here we got that. Bits. Round bits or shadow bits. Well, we'll stick with the regular bits for now. We'll, we'll switch them up later. I wanted to see what my options were. Which craft location? Oh, if you want to move it on the list. Okay, you want to... Because there, there, there are a dozen craft here. So if you want to move it on the list, I guess you could do that. We'll play with this one. Practice? We're talking about practice. So I guess there is an easy mode in this game. We're not going to skip the demo. At least not yet, anyway. Feels weird to play an R-type game in the year 2021, but hey. It's the great reset. Everything old is new again if we can help it, right? Actually, it's not the way it works. The way it works is supposed to leave behind all the old stuff. Good luck for me getting to the next generation. I'm not going to be able to play anything until 2024 as far as the PS5 goes. I'm not. I'm probably going to switch in the next couple of years. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I want the salute. If you respond with a wink, half the screen goes black, which is kind of amusing. <laughs> These giant bomb revealed that on their stream. Well, she had to have cutscenes in an R type game. Was it um, Thunder Force 5 that had this whole lore about what happened to Earth in the year 2040 or something like that? I don't remember. Because I think it was Axelay was the game that took place on a different planet. It didn't take place on Earth. Okay, hold down the... Uh, so the circle button is for rapid fire. But short control burst. So it's not a, it's not a perpetual rapid fire. It's just a short control burst. There it is. So yes, so just tap on that button. Press the X button to send it back to me. I can also attach it to my rear end. Whoops. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I was trying to stick it on my rear end. I guess that was ill-timed. Ill so let's try one more time. I can hold down the square button for the charge beam. There you go. So where's my dose? Yes, my dose on the my dose meter is on the bottom left hand corner of the screen. So that works. So if I press the square button, I can send it off and increase that dose meter. Which is cool, I guess. Level two. Send it off. So once I press the X button to have to call it back, like that, I can't cancel that. Actually, I think I can. No. It just slows down when it gets close to me. Dig it. Is that a refrigerator? What's going on here? Whoops! Did I hit the ice? Did I hit the ice? It's messed up. Oh well, let's try again. How many lives I got? You have unlimited lives in this? No, we don't. Not have unlimited lives in this game. So it slows down when it gets close to you, so that you can put it on your rear end if you want. So 
So can I fly just fly just touch the enemies with this? Does it increase the dose meter? Careful. 1266. Yes, it does. If I just touch enemies with this, it increases the dose meter. What? What? What is that about? <laughs> okay, so that's another way to increase the dose meter. So you just ram things with that. Ram enemies with the force. Whoop. I'm running out of credits? What? Oh, these are continues, I guess. What if I just want to start over from the beginning? Let's start over from the beginning. Because I don't want to waste a credit on level one. It would be absurd. Huh. I guess we'll try. I didn't get any bits, by the way, either. So that sucks. I got no bits. Like, having the force is good practice, of course. Okay, we're skipping the. We're skipping that. <laughs> Uh, respond with a wink. No, with a silent nod. It's like Mass Effect. I do have Mass Effect actually on the P on the uh, Xbox 360, so we'll pull that out a bit later. I I'm due. I'm way behind in that game. And I, I mean, I played Dragon Age like literally a couple of years, uh, literally a couple of years ago, the original Dragon Age, a couple of years ago on this channel. I never actually got any further in the prologue, so I'll get around to that. But so, but it's getting kind of hot around here, so it might be a bad idea to pull out a console. I might need like, I might need to use my mini consoles when the heat when the heat wave arrives. So we'll see how it works. Yeah, so we'll build up our dose meter. So it's another way to play the game ramming enemies like this. So I think that increases my score, too, so that sounds kind of interesting. Gimme! Speed level... I forgot to increase my speed level, by the way, so that's probably a bad move on my part. Speed level 4, as high as it goes. Might be too much. So press uh, L2 to slow down. Whoops! <laughs> probably should have killed him before beforehand. Okay, but you get the idea. We're practicing. It's a research stream. We're practicing. I don't mind practicing. Gimme. Okay, it's on now. Whoops! <laughs> Stupid. I gotta increase my speed. This is absurd. Level 3 should be enough. Holla. Your level three should be enough. He didn't shoot. Not that I'm complaining. Whoops, careful, careful. Got to yeah, I forgot to unleash him. Should have done that, should have unleashed him. There we go, it's on now. Get at me, dog. Come back, come back. There we go. Get me with that laser. Frame, well, at least there's no slowdown in the Super NES version. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about that. I would, I do kinda wanna play a Super R-Type again, but, yeah. With a with an emulator that can get rid of the slowdown, that would be fun. <laughs> I I played a lot of that game back in the day. It was one of the first Super NES games I bought. 
This is a sky laser. Yep, that's a sky laser. The sky attack ring laser. So if you want the uh, blue laser back, you can grab it right there. If you want that. I think we should use this. Careful, careful. This could be a problem. I got one bit, though. That's good. Look, yeah, careful! <laughs> See, that was cheap. I think that laser might be the best way to do it. I'm not sure. Five credits? Back. So I guess we'll try a couple of the different ships while I'm here. We'll try all three ships. We'll see how it works. It's a research stream like I promised. So what else can I uh, customize? Missile, I can do homings, I can do droppers, or I can do the shadow bits. I don't even know what that makes I don't know what the difference is between them. Because I only got one of the bits. What about this one? Shooting star. Missile. You can do depth bombs or scatter bombs. I can scramble. Or the original, the Gradius. I'm gonna try the scatter. Shadows or rounds. We'll try the shadow bits for this one. So we'll go shooting star mode. This demo is probably the same for every ship, isn't it? Well, except for the end where you see the ship flying off. It's the same for every ship. Okay, fine. Thumb up. Oh, sorry, I forgot to actually select it. <laughs> Next. Like, of all the things... Can't skip that. Maybe it's masking a load screen. Yeah, it was masking a load screen. There we go. Charge beam. Huh, nice. I get rid of that. So you have some vertical control of that beam as you move up and down. There we go. This is a sky attack laser on this thing. Look at that, it's level two and already got the uh, four-way shooting. That's cool. Give me that. You can manipulate the, uh, the distance, the the force unit is from your from your ship. So that's kind of amusing. Careful. Got him. Yeah, shoot those freezers. So it's not a persistent ring laser. It's just kind of a bunch of bursts. It's like a burst ring laser. Isn't this supposed to bounce off the walls? It's not bouncing off the walls. It's not bouncing off the walls. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that, but it's like a 45 degree laser, so it's probably interesting for that reason. It's a nice wrinkle, I guess. Got an X pattern above and below the force unit. 
Interesting, I guess. Okay, let's see what I get when I power that up. Fully powered ring laser or fully powered sky attack laser. Direct attack, I guess, laser. Try the blue one. It's a 45 degree angle. Yeah, the 45 degree angles might not be that interesting. Get him. Whoop, careful, careful, careful. 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 Wait, wait, I got him, I got him, I got him. Wait, am I... Is that a force field? That I didn't know I had? <laughs> I should have paid attention to that. Oh, so that was the demo, huh? Okay, I guess that was the demo. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'll probably think about it. Let's see, let's see if I got any other ships. Let's do a quick check. We'll do one last uh, ship. One last test run with this third ship. Uh, customize with the missile, homing or scatter bombs. We'll try homing for this one. So we can only use the shadow bits, huh? Okay, fine. Uh, normal mode, of course. All right, so it's a demo, demo. First level, three different ships. That seems okay. Get the demo. Anyway, wink. Say? <laughs> Cute. Would I buy this game? I'd rent it. I do need to play the old R types, though, so it's kind of just disappointing. Speed up. What the? Whoa! Look at that charge beam. Nice. Look at that. That is nice. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I'm holding down the attack button. Look at that. That is nice. Yeah, the R2 button does that too. If you can use the R2 button. Okay, so you can't use the square button to charge a beam and do the uh, R to it. You can't use the rapid fire attack and charge the beam. It's amusing. I love that charge beam, dog. Look at that. Bam. Dig it. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> So that's my sky attack laser. A direct attack laser, I guess you could call it down there. Probably not gonna be able to, whoops! How did I get past my shield? It's messed up. It's this stupid soul Deese looking ship. Yeah, that is kind of cool. Oh, ha ha ha. So he's behind me. What's he doing? Yeah, so if he's behind me, what's he doing? Like, yeah, so what does this do if it's in front of me? Yeah, 
Yeah. Okay, where is that thing? Reflect laser. Whoops! That was the reflect laser. Just lost it right away, though. Don't know what was going on with that, by the way. So I lost my reflect laser. I don't know what my score is for, like, charging up my wave beam or something. I still would like a seeker. Building up my dose meter. That's cool, I guess. Down he goes. And there's some slowdown. I'm gonna survive that somehow. That's my bit. Yeah. Reflect laser. Careful. Whoops. Did I win? I won already. Didn't even get a chance to shoot my beam. I mean, I'll take that. <laughs> that was shockingly easy. <laughs> um, I wasn't expecting to win so easily. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna have to try a harder difficulty level. <laughs> uh, okay, so I think we did all right, kids. So I got a couple of demos done. I have to do that enter, enter the dungeon demo later. We'll see how it works.